All right, everyone, so here I am at Delicious Orchards. Uh, we're at a car show, and I just saw this Jeep, and I'm like, I gotta go look at this thing. It's super cool. And I'm actually with the owner of it. Nice to meet you, what's your name? My name's Hunter Terrell, pleasure. Very, very cool. So uh, how did you come across this Jeep? Well, I was uh, up by, uh, by Rutgers, and a gentleman had it. He was looking to uh, get rid of it. It was old and green, and uh, told me I could have it for a grand. So I said, no problem. Then it started from there. <laughs> <laughs> very, very the cool. For, uh, the hunt for all the rare parts and things like that was definitely well worth it. <laughs> very, very cool. And how long did it take for you to like finish this restoration? I'd say probably about 13, 14 months. Learned how to how to do paint, electrical work, mechanical work, and whatnot. Okay. Fun. Very, very cool. And like, what problems did you come across when you were building this? Came across uh, a lot of rust. Jeeps are a lot of rust. Yeah. Them, unfortunately. Going off roading and stuff. Yep. The, uh, the leaf springs, uh, they were pretty much rotted out and a couple broken ones. That was a challenge getting that off. So that's yeah. probably the hardest thing I had to come across there. Very, very cool. Yeah, I love that thing. Thank you. Can you show me some of the inside? Yeah, sure. Show you what we got inside the hood here. Where did you find this here? That that little uh, toy, banner across the, the front. toy, the toy. The toy that came from uh, from Walmart actually. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> oh wow. This is huge in there. Yep, it had no air conditioning. I had to put that in. Um, oh, so it didn't come with it at that time? No, it didn't. Wow. So I had to install the whole uh, the whole system in there, and the uh, the radiators were rotted through. I could put my hand right through it. <laughs> The, uh, the intake I threw on there, let's see, what else? Valve cover, my heater core was broken, had to do that. <laughs> all kinds of stuff on here. Wow. So this thing was all full of rust and stuff in here? It was, yeah, it had to be redone. Wow. Still have a couple things left to do on it. It looks really clean now, though. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I gotta clean my engine. <laughs> my engine is a mess. Okay, a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time, yeah. You got it. <laughs> I'll show you the inside here. The, uh, the inside here has a lot of the original Sahara trim pieces. So the uh, the seats, the green seats, I had to find them out of Mark's Jeep. And the um, the pouches on the side are made by uh, Victor Hugo out in uh, California. Um, it's part of the Jurassic Park motor pool that I belong to. A whole bunch of these guys, they, uh, they recreate the Jeeps to look like uh, the ones from the original movie and the, uh, the Ford Explorers and a couple other vehicles from the new Jurassic World movie. So, That's really pretty great cool. Yeah. To be part of. And what work did you have to do inside? Like, I know you had to replace some of the lining yes. and everything. So the, um, I had no carpets in this thing. Okay. I put uh, carpets on the bottom. A lot of people rhino line it, but with the, uh, the carpets, I made it look as accurate interior as it could. And then um, the AC vents in here didn't have these yeah. guys either. I put that all in there. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, the radio and the whole unit that it was sitting in, this metal dash unit here, uh -huh. uh, was all rotted out. So I had to put a brand new one in there. And the, um, the leather dash itself was all ripped up. So oh, I had to wow. find a, 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 new, a new old sock one, which is not easy to come across. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. This is so, and this is leather, right? Yep, that's That is so visors. cool. Yep. You got it. Leather visors, man. Show you the back here. I made the um, the kit that's in the back of the Ford Explorer with the uh, the flares that they had to uh, when Dr. Grant used it to lure the T-Rex away from the kids that were in it. Um, yeah. He threw it over the uh, over the side. Uh, the real flashlight that um, that goes in this kit is near impossible to find. It's worth <laughs> a couple thousand dollars. So. I figured, no, I'll pass on that one, but uh, you get the idea. <laughs> and a couple nice, uh, nice signs and things like that. My favorite is the K Logs box. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Where did you get that from? I found it again, Walmart. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I bought it when I saw it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta have that. And all these are like original to the movie. So this sticker here, actually, I found a gentleman on eBay uh, was making them and, se and selling those. So I found that, and that was uh, that was perfect touch, honestly. It's put on the back. It looks like it's uh, logged into the park by an. Yeah, it does. Number. It looks really cool. So, <laughs> yep. And then we got uh, we got one guy that redesigns all the graphics in the uh, in the motor pool, and uh, he does all the um, the correct size fitment for the uh, for the door decals and the stencils for the numbers, depending on what number Jeep you're gonna make. Okay. Um, yeah, I chose four. 
because uh, my birthday is the 4th. We bought the car on the 4th of June uh, about two years ago. Oh, wow. And then uh, my dad's birthday is the 4th, and so is my grandfather's. So oh, that's four perfect. Four fours, it had to be. Wow. <laughs> How many Jeeps were there in the movie? Like, There was four different ones in the Only first four? Movie. Okay. Yeah. You had numbers 10, 12, 18, and 25. Okay. So, yep. So that's what usually they recreate, those numbers? Yeah, usually they recreate those ones, but okay. sometimes people want custom numbers that are on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My son <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. It's probably the first time you're ever going to see one of these. Very, very cool, guys. I just had to take a video for you all, so... Well, thank you very much for showing it to me. You're welcome. Anytime.